How are you guys doing? So today we're gonna to start taking apart the interior to see how bad these floor pans really are and how much you need to replace. It'll be difficult to get all the spot wells and then fit the new panels in all on the floor. If the panels close to the edge look good, we'll be able to just butt weld the new panels, fit them real nice and be good to go. So let's take a look. I'm gonna start tearing it apart. First step is to get the carpets and the seats out. So I got the carpet off and yeah, you can see some of the factory green paint still on there, which is pretty crazy. So it's crazy as it seems, but some of the stuff Porsche did it from the factory with pieces of wood. So I definitely need to put something here to close that up and got it. I might even do those like run line kits for both sides because those are pretty sweet. But I'm gonna go ahead and get the seats off. We'll see how this goes. So bolts are off on this side seats loose on this side so we have to go ahead and get the bolts off on the opposite side so next we're gonna take off all of these phillip heads one two three four we have to take all those off so we can get this carpet peel back So with that peeled back, we're gonna go ahead and probably take off this rear seat stuff. So in order to peel the carpet back, I gotta unscrew these seat belts. So I gotta take those two off, but I'm pretty sure after those two, the side ones can stay on for now. So those two are off and then there's bolts down there. So we gotta take those two braces off on the other side and the center section should slip right out. Those two brackets are off. Should just be able to kind of lift this back. These center things kind of need to pop off, so dusty crusty that's kind of cool that original greens back so i'm gonna go ahead and take those bolts off so i got the last few bolts out pulled the seats out and yeah definitely pretty crusty in there but it's what we expected i'm gonna go ahead and pull the driver's seat so it's the next day got all the bolts on that side off we got i think four on this side the seat's basically ready to come out though so as soon as we get these ones out should be good to go always zip lock zip lock zip lock so all the bolts and everything keep track of those things because it's all gonna have to go back together so it's a little bit nice i was able to pull the car back out of the garage i'm gonna go ahead and pull the seat out i already got all the bolts off and uh yeah probably gonna vacuum the interior get all the loose stuff off and then kind of scrape away some of the worse or i guess corrosion and rust let's go ahead and do that so there you have it, floors are out. Just gonna do a quick cleanup, make sure no bolts are chilling. Put my knees on this. Yeah, it's pretty crusty. Definitely pretty crusty, but it doesn't look too crazy, honestly. Ooh, already paying for itself. Time to vacuum this bad boy. So there's a lot of this old insulation, the old color peeling up. There's some wires leading underneath the carpet. So I gotta figure that out for that, what that's for, but hopefully it doesn't. Actually, at least to, to nowhere. So I don't know. If anyone can tell me what these wires are for, that'd be tight. Cause they don't lead to nothing as far as I know. I'm gonna actually just pull them out here for a second. Try my way and go ham.
lot of this stuff just keeps springing up and just getting like all over the place. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a scraper to kind of lift up some of this garbage that's super loose already. And uh, we'll go from there. This, this old insulation crap is nasty. Ugh. Ugh, let me zoom out a little bit. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh. Look at that paint though. Oh. I love that paint. I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, stupid yellow, I wish it was still green. Um, yeah, I love that green color, but hey, you know, back in the days, you change up the color, no big deal. And the paint actually is beautiful, so I'm not mad about it, not mad about it. So I'm gonna continue to scrape, and bring up all this junk, and uh, yeah, see how solid these floor paints really are. I can literally like almost, you know, punch a hole through there. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep cleaning and keep dreaming. These floors are nasty, but this is fun. <laughs> Just ended up pulling the center console carpet out. There's a little shifter action. It's pretty cool seeing this for like what's inside of it in the daylight. It's really cool. You can see all the all the mechanics behind it. So there's the trans tunnel shaft. I'm basically gonna work in these two areas and keep it moving. enough fossils and stuff doing research times better got most of the crust off and gonna move on to the driver's side look at this artifact i'm gonna put this up on ebay 68 porsche dust looks like an oreo Vacuum scrape, vacuum scrape. 